On the 9th of January 2022, the African Nation Cup will start in Cameroon. And you might have come across several videos or several warning from the leaders of the Ambazonia uh, uh, talking about the African Nation Cup will not take place in Boya, uh, uh, in which they call the Ambazonia. And there are several warnings have been uh, um, coming from nearly all the leaders of the Ambazonia. Uh, talking about they will do everything possible to disturb the African Nation Cup. Uh, and also, we know the Cameroon government and the Cameroon military will not allow such uh, to happen. And they will do everything possible uh, to make sure that the African Nation Cup will take place in Libya successfully. And in several videos or some videos that I make, I talk about two elephants fighting, that the, what is happening in Cameroon is like two elephants fighting. And when two elephants are fighting, it is the grass that suffer. And that is why I am coming up with this video. And if you come across it, and if you are watching it, struggle by all possible means to share it to your loved ones or to spread, because I'm coming up with some a warning and some consciousness. It's something that you have to take into consideration. You have to be mindful of some certain things during this period because at the end, we do not want our brothers and sisters there in Cameroon to be in prison or to be killed because of all this. Because these two people will struggle by all possible means to see into it that what they hope for will come to pass. The Ambazonians will struggle by all possible means to disturb the African Nation Cup. And the government, the Cameroon military will struggle by all possible means to make sure that the African Nation Cup will take place. And who are those to suffer? These people who might not suffer any consequences, but the citizens of uh, Limbe and Boya, or the surrounding uh, towns like Motengane, Tiko, uh, uh, Monya, uh, Moyoka, or other Anglophones that would like to come to Limbe to watch the man. So you have to take this point. I have two of, two of different points, two different things that you have to be mindful of. The first one is do not borrow or give your car or your bike, like bank skin, to anybody, be it your relatives, be it your friend during this period. Because we don't know who is who at this period. Don't trust anybody. Do not give a such thing that can identify you to anybody at this period. Allow this period to come and pass because any little thing can lead you into problems. You don't know the friends or your relatives. You don't know who your relatives or your friends they are interacting with. The second point is be selective of your appearance. As you are going at you look at your appearance because there are certain appearances that it looks suspicious. So you have to be selective with in your appearance. If you don't have something that can put decent, better stay you in the house. Anything that can put you into trouble, like dressing, hairstyle, and other things, stay in the house. Delete anything that can lead you into trouble from your telephone. That is the third point. You check your telephone and you delete it because there will be zero checking. Everywhere around Limbe, Boya, Motengene, Tiko, from Douala to Esawes, uh, uh, there will be zero checking Kumba to, uh, to the town. Anywhere linking coming closer to Limbe, there will be zero check. So you have to delete and check your telephone always. The fourth point is always di disconnect. You should always disconnect your data before leaving the house. Because if your data is on, you have friends outside there that can, they can send something that can lead you into trouble. Maybe the police or the yandams, the military can be checking through your phones and in which your data is, your data is on. And then some, some kind of messages will come in or sometimes some kind of videos will come in that will lead you into trouble. You have to delete, disconnect yourself each time you are leaving the house. You have to be mindful of these things. The fifth point is avoid unnecessary movement and talking. If you have not been disciplined, this period you have to discipline yourself. Coming late home, just cancel it. In moving carelessly, cancel it. Places that does not value, delete it. Cancel it from your program. In talking unnecessarily, things that does not concern you, delete it from your mind. This period. Number six point, the sixth point is drop down everything you are holding and raise your two hands up 
if you see a military, mil military or a police or a yanda from a distance, you have to drop everything that you are holding and raise up your two hands. Because they might stand in a distance. Maybe you are holding an umbrella. They think it is a gun. Maybe you are holding a color. They think it is a gun. The best way to do everything is you are a farmer. After farming, you have to bury it, all your family tools in the farm and come back home. Change your dresses. Don't come back dirty because those are the things that will lead you into trouble. And if you discover that military are, in a, are standing in a distance, drop everything and raise your hand up and move toward them. And any instruction they give to you, Obey and follow and come closer to them and explain and show yourself that you are holding nothing. Don't. Number six, the seven point is do not argue with any man in uniform. Be it police, and dance, whether it is your right, it is this period. I am pleading with you all there that you should forget about your right. Just know that you are in a land where you have no right. Forget about your right at this period. Whether they are asking you. Collaborate with them and go your way. Don't argue in any circumstances. Do not argue with them. Number eight point is avoid involving in any kind of quarreling, a fighting or argument with anybody. First thing is this period we do not trust anybody. So do not involve yourself in any argument. Do not involve yourself in any quarreling. Do not involve yourself in any fighting. Do not involve yourself in anything that can lead you into trouble. The, the number nine point is, if you must watch the match, maybe you wish to go and see, since they are playing it in Cameroon, you want to see those players, I, I'm pleading with you. If you are in Boya, if you are an Anglophone, I am pleading with you that struggle by all possible means to buy your ticket. Spend one day, go to Douala. Wash your mouth or you go to your own day because this game, these things that is happening in our country, and many people are settling scores with their enemies. Somebody might see you dead in Libya and go and hear this is one of those who went to wash the marsh in Libya and they will come and burn your business place, they will come and destroy your property, or they might even kill you. So, you should avoid such things if you must. Watch the man. I'm pleading with you. You go to different regions. You go to Bafusan. You go to Dwala, or you go to Barawa, or to Garwa, or you go to Yaounde and watch the man. And for one day, and return you back home. Don't, because many people will see you. Many people will give information because of hatred, wickedness, jealousies, and all those things. And you one, or you might be killed. Your property might be destroyed, and we don't know. So you struggle by all possible means to be conscious. Be mindful of the things you involve yourself during this period. I am saying that these are two elephants fighting and the grass, they are the ones suffering. Who are the common people? Number the 10th point is do not trust anyone, anybody. Don't follow anybody anywhere without knowing the purpose. Don't trust anyone at this particular period. The military will be there. To see into either the, the matches that will be played in, in Limbe will be successful. The players that will be there will be everything will go successfully. And then the Ambazona will be struggling by others women to show that what they have seen, the instruction they have given, that the matches will not be successful, they will do it. And within all these things, the military will be struggling to pick up anybody that is. So do not involve yourself in any kind of uh, uh, business or trusting people at this hour. Look up to yourself. Do not help to transport anything for anyone without knowing the content of what you are. Maybe somebody asks you, just help me and keep this thing. Just help me and transport this thing from this place to this place. Maybe from Kumba to Buya or from uh, Dwala to this. Do not say you to go open it one by one and see if it is plantain if it's kukuyam it is yam struggle and even bread if there's a way to bread and see the inside it is better we do not trust anybody at this hour don't carry anybody don't carry don't help anybody in any kind of way by carrying material things from one place to another because it might lead you into trouble you have to be mindful at this particular program the last point is try by all possible means to speak only for yourself. Try by all possible means to speak only for yourself. Don't speak for anybody. 
only for yourself because at this hour and the things happening in our country the only person you can trust is yourself try by all possible means to spread this video to help our loved one out there because at the end of everything there is so many of them, many of them will be in prison for crime not committed many of them will be killed many of them will be accused of being amber boys Many will be accused of collaborating with the military. So you have to be mindful of what you are involving yourself. You are speaking, you are doing at this particular time until this African nation come. And then the last, the other things you have to do is keep on praying. That is our prayer. Don't be give up. Keep on praying. And God will one day answer our prayer. There will be peace in our homeland. Thank you very much for spreading this video to help our loved one out there.